Well, the collapsed pillar is new. But the shrine is just on the other side. Things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Thimble winter wears down all things, even stone. Something give over on the right. That should help. There we go. Come on. Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories... ...the secret stories... ...those they kept here... ...inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here.
What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other oh, shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention... black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Prison be in Muspelheim. Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding out? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Sparkle fight? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. <laughs> hmm. I don't think we can get home the way we came. Let's get back to the shrine. I know another way.
Everyone looks kind of cracked there. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. <laughs> Stepped outside, but he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Hmm. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. No! There's no talking without your shield! curiosity against him it goes with being young in my youth we learned obedience and is that what you wish for him brother he's going to walk his own path if you don't want him walking away from you then smarten up and walk with him a while <laughs> <laughs> If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfarm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But, if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. Hmm? Breed. Is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, <well>, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it.
After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Svartalfheim so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. Oh. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. Do you know this? Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? We got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds.
found some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? No refunds. Thank you. What'll it be? Busted my shapely hunkers, forging every manner of breastplate and pauldron and all of creation. And yet now you stand before me, two step from butt ass naked. Maybe this go around use it a little more carefully, huh? I will not. Need something special? And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Wait! Those stairs will not support you. Please don't break my house. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? Atreus. All right. See you out there, Sindri. You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are.
We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open, now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Still us, poison! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell got eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... just oh, there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> Father, come get Mimir and let's go. Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Think so bad. Oh! 
Nista! I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. You never asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river and then leave for five days? No, your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? Blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. To be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open.
that's dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. <gasps> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek the ground was that an earthquake hmm. an occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. with all the mining here the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered think you can reach the wheel from here <laughs> job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, 
Maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Svartalfarm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? Find anything good up there? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Hmm. <laughs> 
Those things are everywhere. Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Strange bugger popped back out of the ground again. Nice. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it dropped. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Find you! Uh, 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 
Think you can uncover that geyser from here? The pressure will turn the wheel. There's still the other chain to pull, but how are we gonna get to it? The block's coming down. else we can hit I still don't see how we can get up to that chain could try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Nice one. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. One of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Glad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn, Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what he was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tears in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tear is truly here. Right.
Yikes. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Right side, incoming! Uh, uh, uh. 